Hey everybody, welcome back. This week I have an awesome tutorial for you on Triquetra Celtic Knots. This is also called the Love Knot or the Trinity Knot. And um, it has been around for a long time. Celtic Knots have been in existence there, guessing uh, as far back as 500 BC. And a lot of different uh, nations or cultures took over this um, pattern drawing, uh, the knotted drawings, and they are found prominently in illuminated books and uh, in mosaics from the Roman Empire and uh, in the Islamic cultures. So uh, this is a very prominent, um, a prominent knot, and it's a great one to start with. Uh, you draw it in a triangle shape is the easiest way, although you can uh, freehand it outside, but for some reason the triangle form makes it easier to um, to create in, and make it look even. So you're going to start at one point, follow the line about halfway down, and then you're going to start a curve down to about the halfway point on the next line adjacent. So what you're going to do is you're going to repeat this on all three corners. So we're going to take this about halfway up and about right there is the midpoint on that, okay? Then we have one more to do and that is to connect these two corners and we're going to do the exact same thing. Follow it up about halfway and then curve around and come back down. So this is your basic triquetra knot or triquetra pattern. Sorry about that. Um, what we're going to do is turn this into a knot. Okay, and Simba wants to participate today. Those cats. All right. All right. This is the basic form that we're going to create in this, in this uh, triangle. We're gonna make a small triangle that has slightly curved sides on all three sides. Then we're gonna take a line, curve it up, following the curve of the triangle, and we're gonna stop it above at about the halfway point right there. And then just like this, we're going to repeat that pattern on all three sides. So we're gonna be looking for the halfway point right here. So we're gonna follow this curve and that's about halfway and then on the third side the same here's the halfway so we're going to take this up and out and again to the halfway point so this is what we're going to do inside this form let me show you how that goes you want to create your uh, curved sided triangle here um, and leave lots of room around it if possible. Sometimes these can, because I do them free, uh, freehand, sometimes they can turn out a little wonky, but I kind of like that quality because of my history with Zentangle. Okay, so again, we're gonna go to the halfway point, and again, the halfway point here, and a halfway point there, okay? That's your beginning knot shape. Now the next part is, is pretty easy. You use these lines as a barrier. So you're gonna start at your triangle point, draw down until you meet that inked line. Then you're going to turn your paper or tile and start at the point, follow that down until you hit the next line. And you're gonna turn it to the third side and repeat. Point of the triangle, down to the next line. Now, the rest, well, this lamp really does not want to cooperate today. Let's see if we can get it to stay. I may have to get out the duct tape. Okay, mm, let's see if we can get finished with this. So now, what you wanna do is fill in the three little portions that aren't inked on the outline. So keeping in mind where this line is going to logically come out, you wanna match that and follow it down to the corner. And then again, as always, you wanna repeat 
on all three sides. So here to the point and here to the point. Now you have this all finished. Let me see if I can figure out where I started here. You have this all finished except for the inside. So you want to come right here where this um, triangle line would come out and then hook up with your other line there. And again, repeat three times. So turn your tile or paper and meet up. And then here, the same thing. There. Now, typically, when you do Celtic knots, you will see them uh, blacked out or inked in in uh, the areas where they're, the knot is not. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to say that again. Where the knot is not. Okay, there I go. All right, so basically, once you have these filled in and you can leave them blank, there are no fast rules that I'm aware of. And keep those blacked in if you like. This gives you the opportunity to fix some of these uh, outside lines or this form right here if you're not happy with the way it turned out. This pen is giving up. But you get the idea. So this, well, that lamp. This is your basic triquetra. Um, you can ink this to the pencil line if you like and give it a, a triangular finished off look, or you can leave it without. I really like it. <laughs> Actually, I like it both ways. So then all you need to do is erase your guidelines and you're finished. Pretty cool, huh? So let me show you what I did with this. Well, actually I wanted to show you one other thing and that is that I have discovered several ways of using this form. The first, and I'm sort of halfway in the middle of this so it doesn't look right, but you can see. Um, the first way that I found to use it is to do it in a running border, like I did on this. Um, again, I'm right in the middle of the ugly stage on this piece, so I don't want to leave it under the camera too long. <laughs> I don't want your eyes to burn. And uh, then next week, we are going to do this. This is going to be our project, which is a Zendala using the Triquetra knots, uh, Triquetra knots. So you have something to look forward to for next week. And let me show you how to set up the running border really quickly. So that is basically made up of small squares or medium squares. <laughs> and what you want to do is map out your border okay oops <clears throat> and then depending on how big you want it or how thick since this is a knot example I'm just going to take all the room for the knot okay so in borders, the corners can be an issue. And so the very first thing you want to do is follow your square out from each point and make yourself little squares on the corners in this way. Oops. That was not a very good one. Luckily, I have an eraser. Just don't tell anybody. There we go. Okay, hopefully we have banished the cats to the other realm and Simba will be quiet. So as I was saying, you divide each of your squares, divide each of your squares in half. Now, if you will notice on this example, I did not do it this way. I have two corners where, the, where I divided them in this way. And then what I did was I zigzagged the line but when I got here this meant I had two corners that were the opposite direction so on this one I'm gonna try something different 
I don't know if it'll work. It will. That might have to do with how many squares you have. I'm not sure. So I don't know what to do about this mess. Let's pretend this line is a little bit bigger and you get the impression. So it would be like this. Now there's nothing stopping me from putting triquetra in these skinny little squares. It just won't look as uniform as the rest. So starting here, you're just going to pick a, a spot and follow the procedure I just showed you. Follow your line in pencil to the midpoint of the next one and curve it in. Now I can do this since I've practiced without turning my dial, but I recommend you do turn. Middle point, middle point-ish, <laughs> and middle point, like so. Okay, midpoint, midpoint, and midpoint. Midpoint, midpoint, midpoint. And like so. And you'll notice that you have a pattern here that begins to repeat itself, which is what makes this such a cool border pattern. And you don't have to worry about your orientation or what way you're doing things. Just follow the procedure and I promise you it will work. Like that. Whoops, that one was not good. When you don't follow the line to the midpoint and then curve, what happens is you end up with a small space for your first triangle, and that, that can be problematic because you, then you don't have a lot of room to, to uh, make your knot. So this is basically how you set it up. You just draw your forms. These are just quick, not great, and keep going all the way around. And then you start with your pen, just like we did before, the curved sided triangle, which I don't always get very well. Midpoint, 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 and then from the top point down to the barrier, top point down to the barrier, and your top point down to your barrier. Then just fill it in like we did before. Make all of the lines complete. Okay, let's do one more. All right. So here is your little triangle to midpoint. This is a little skinny one, midpoint. And it is okay if these aren't perfect. Well, at least it's okay with me. I don't know how anybody else will feel about it, but I think once you make it into art, the perfections, the imperfections are part of its charm. But again, I believe in the Zentangle method where there are no mistakes a concept that I have difficulty with. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm trying to be a reformed perfectionist. I don't know how that's going, but I think I'm getting a little better. After all, I'm showing this to you without it being perfect. So, when you put these together and you ink in this little diamond shape between them, you can either leave your bottoms open, like I did here, I did not straighten this out. Notice that I inked these all inside, but the outer edges are not inked, and neither are the inner edges inked. So basically, I inked the parts that touch each other and the inner parts of the knots, like so, and so. But I left this and this and, and this without ink. Well, this one actually will have ink, but you, you see what I mean. Um, I like the dips and everything. However, if you would like to make this like a completely square border, you can easily do so just by inking in your triangle lines and then finishing the edge with a straight line and then fill in your, your gaps. Um, okay, that's basically how I accomplished it. And I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. 
and be sure and give me your feedback. Tell me if this helps, if you enjoyed it, if it sucked, if it was too long, if it was too short, too fast, too slow, whatever you feel about this. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I will be back next week with Triketra in the round. And this is so pretty. This turned out so nicely. And I can't wait to show you how I did it. So I will see you next time on the Tireless Tangler. And I wish you all a great week.